Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over my Bloodlust Bow Gank build. For our gear, we're starting out with New Moon Acolyte with double dot poisons on our bow. Our bow will be Nern Honed. And because of that negative cost on our active abilities, our back bar, buff bar, we'll be using the great sword of potato in defending for the extra resistance. One piece Krog. And our second set is Titanborn. Now with the fifth piece on this, we're going to be able to proc uh, the health under 75% at will while we're in stealth. So with this fully buffed up, character will be at that a uh, little over 6,400 weapon damage with over 18,000 penetration with this current setup. For our shoulders we're staying with Mola Kina one piece for the extra damage. Everything's going to be in divines. All of our jewelry is still going to be infused with weapon damage and chance. So on our attack bar, our first skill is going to be Killer's Blade. It's a great execute, but we also want to make sure that we have an ability that's going to give us these two passive pressure point to give us that increased critical chance and hemorrhage to give us increased critical damage when we have these abilities slotted. Now, also going to be running Camouflaged Hunter. Barb Trap, Poison Inject, and Lethal Arrow. We're also going to be running Toxic Barrage for the ulti. On back bar, we're going with Temporal Guard to get the minor protection at all times when we're on our buff and escape bar going to be using Rally for our Major Brutality as well as a really good heal. Channeled Acceleration, Shadowy Disguise, Balance. Now this comes out of the Mage's Guild skill line so there are passives there that are going to give us a little bit higher uh, magic regen and total magic on this bar. Uh, not enough to make a great difference, but it does help. And for the first time, we will be having a consistent uh, major resolve for our physical and spell resistance. This is also the ability that we will be using to proc our Titan Born set before we burst in on players. And then Concealed Weapon. I don't even use this as an attack, I just have it there strictly for the increased movement speed while we're sneaking or invisible by 25% with it being slotted. So for our Munda Stone, we're running the Lover. Our food's going to be our Tam Takeaway Broth. We are a stage 4 vampire for the movement. For our champion points, we're going to start out with 51 into Warlord, 56 into Mooncalf, 37 into Tenacity, 67 into Shade, 56 into Tumbling, 3 into Befal, 72 into Master of Arms, 72 into Precise Strikes, 62 into Piercing, 64 into Mighty. 72 into Ironclad, 58 into Resistant, 56 into Hardy, 64 into Elemental Defender, 20 into Thick Skin. Alright guys, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch the video and for all the support that you guys have been giving me. 
I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll address them when I get a chance. Thanks for your guys' time. one but I just witnessed a murder. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, oh there's a third one down there. Oh <laughs>